Hi, this is Chris, the GRE expert at Magoosh, and it's time for Vocabulary Wednesday. Yeah, I know, I know it's been quite a while, but I have a special announcement. I wrote a book, a vocabulary builder workbook to be precise. This is so exciting that I wanted to introduce this book to you, as well as take some words from the book itself and make a Vocabulary Wednesday out of it. And so there we have it. Here's my book. and. If you look in the description, you can click on that link to order it now. Without further ado, let's talk about some of the words from the book, starting with elated. I'm elated right now. I'm super happy, super excited, buoyant, full of happiness because I wrote a book and I get to share that book with all of you. So that's essentially what the word elated means. Now the way I'm going to do this Vocabulary Wednesdays, I'm going to show you four words, including elated. and as we go through each one, they're going to get harder and harder. And I mimic that same structure in each chapter of my book. It starts off with the easier words and gets harder and harder. So let's go on to the next medium level word, ephemeral. Ephemeral means not lasting for a long time, short lived. But these words will not be ephemeral in your head when you look at my new book and you read the definitions and do the practice exercises there. The words will stick in your head for a very long, non ephemeral time. Next word, promulgate. Yeah, now we're getting to some heavy duty GRE words. To promulgate means to make officially known or to declare. So if the government wants to pass a new program, they say, we're now announcing that we're going to do this. We are promulgating it. So again, hard word, GRE word, it's in the book. So you'll get to see it used in another example sentence and you'll even be quizzed on it in the practice exercises that follow each chapter. Next, we have the hardest word of the day, and it is impecunious. A very fancy way of saying something pretty straightforward. So if you are impecunious, it means you have no money. That's all impecunious means. It comes from the root cuneary relating to money, and then the M makes it not. So if you're impecunious, no money, and there you have it. Now again, all those words are going to be in my new vocabulary builder workbook. So don't forget to pick up a copy today. The link is in the description, and great to see everybody again.